guys welcome back for another video so today is the weekend it's saturday and i don't have things to do outside the house today i'm just gonna be in in the house today i'm actually very happy about that i do have things to do i have to wash destiny's hair i'm gonna straighten up i'm washing the kids shoes in the washing machine and things like that you know just stuff that you do around the house so nothing that's a big deal so i'm glad you're here if you clicked on this video thank you so much i did work on that order so john went ahead and shipped that off for me and while he does that he goes and checks my p.o box normally that's when he checks my p.o box if i have a order to ship out then then we go ahead and check it but we don't check it very frequently because most of the time there's nothing in there so yeah i gotta make my bed i have to sometimes on the weekends um i still make my bed i feel guilty like sometimes i try to let you know go with the flow let things just chill, you know just go and not make beds and stuff like that but i just can't do it because when i don't make my bed then i get in the bed in the afternoon and those wrinkly sheets touching my skin i, I just can't do it so i gotta go ahead and make the bed so let me do that so i'm actually washing the kids shoes um and I wash mine with bleach. And yes, you can wash shoes with bleach even if they have color in them. I had them soaking first. And then um, I go ahead and wash them. They were looking raggedy. You should have seen how these shoes were looking. But um, it also helps with the smell. Because I noticed the closet was stinking. So even though I spray Lysol on them, I like to wash shoes. So I wash them with bleach. And even if the shoe has color, you could put bleach. I wouldn't put bleach directly on the shoes, but you could put bleach in your dispenser because it gets mixed with water and it your shoe's coming out looking brand new. I was telling you guys about they have these at Costco for $17.99 these are the best throws I'm telling you it's so soft and they're super long this is a king size bed and you can see they drape on each side really low so as a matter of fact I got more on this side so I gotta pull some from that way but anyways they have something similar at Sam's Club for $23.99 I think oh, y'all forgive me my kids are fighting let me go handle what this. was I saying anyways um they have one similar at sam's club for $23.99 don't quote me on that or $23.58 i don't know and but it's bigger than this and th you can see this is pretty big and pretty long but it's bigger than this one and this one's is like 96 inches and i think the one at sam's club is like 108 or something like that but oh, it's so soft i love this throw Two years ago, I cut a few pieces off of my big plant that I keep in the living room and then I stuck the stems in a glass jar filled with water and I had it like that for a whole year and then it grew a bunch of roots. So I replanted it, I think at the beginning of spring this year and she is doing amazing. Look how pretty she is. Now keep in mind, this is just a few stems and look how 
beautiful she is doing so I added a few um, I have water in here with a little bit of miracle Grow, and I just add a little bit in here and then I have another plant it's been like almost three weeks since I water her and this is my snake plant I keep next to my computer and she loves this corner like out of all the places I put her this is her favorite spot so also it's been a month since I water her as well and I only put a little bit of water in there but she's so doing now it. I'm gonna diffuse some essential oils in my bedroom and one of you lovely subscribers a few years ago told me to put the essential oil first and then add the water because it smells more and you were right and ever since you told me that um, you know who you are I've been doing that so I'm going to be using the almond scent essential oil I don't know if you guys can see it because the window's right there and then i'll be also be using almond wreath i get these off of amazon it's also in my amazon favorites if you're looking like looking for something like this but it smells so good so i like my room smelling good and usually i diffuse essential oils in the daytime and then at night while i'm in the room that's when i burn the candles I also use it in my DIY cleaners. Let's say, for example, it's fall season. I will use like a fall scented essential oil in my cleaner. So that's another tip right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the water. This diffuser also is in my Amazon favorites. This one holds 500 ml, which means it will diffuse the entire day and night. It holds a lot of water. So this is why I love it. So I'm getting ready to tackle up the kitchen, like tackle, you know, like tidy up and wipe down the table and vacuum in here, finish the rest of these dishes, breakfast dishes and stuff like that. But before I get started with that, I'm going to take my collagen first. So I want to thank Bellway for sponsoring this portion of so today. So I have been drinking the Super Fiber Plus Collagen. The prebiotic fiber collagen nourishes good gut bacteria for improved digestive system and a healthier skin collagen, which increases skin elasticity, lessens the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The great things about it is the fact that it also helps you stay fuller longer and it's beneficial for your health. The sugar-free psyllium husk powder made from real fruit helps you eliminate bloating as well. Only thing you need to do is simply just add some cold water to one or two scoops and stir and just drink. This is definitely not the type of fiber that our grandmas used to take back in the day because Bellwood has created a gentle fiber choice packed with organic probiotics for gut health and a blooming skin you can feel good about. So if you guys want to check it out, use my coupon code Yesenia20 to get 20% off your first order over at Bellway and the link will be down in my description box. And I also want to thank Bellway again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I was actually getting ready to clean the kitchen but I was like you know what I should wash Destiny's hair first and then while she's deep conditioning that's when I'll tidy up the kitchen so this is the shampoo I use for her hair Destiny's scalp like she has really bad itchy scalp and she suffered really bad from dandruff so I it, like she was it was pretty bad and then I started using this and it has been a complete game changer so if you have that same problem I recommend it you also have to be very consistent with it I've been using this one for her for the past two months now I also use the herbal um, head and shoulders for the hello hydration to detangle her hair. It does amazing job and it also even does an amazing job on my hair as well. And then I'll be using the Aunt Jackie's Cocoa Repair uh, Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner on her hair. But um, now I gotta call her downstairs. She's gonna have a fit. I'm about to wash her hair. I don't record very much um, her getting her hair done because it's not a pleasant thing. She's not happy about getting her hair done so I, I would never put her on the spot like that but um pray for so me. whenever I am detangling Destiny's hair I like to finger detangle and also use her detangling brush it's the pink one right here that I, you'll see me using I'm going pretty fast because it took me a while from her 
for me to detangle her hair. I had her hair like in a high puff most of the week because I just did not want to redo her hair, if that makes sense. We just wanted an easy hairstyle for that week because the first week I had twisted her hair. She had beads in her hair and that lasted about a week and a half. And then at the, the rest of the week, I just did like a high puff till it was time for me to wash her hair. Now, normally I wash her hair every two weeks. So right now we're actually warming up. I had Desi warm up the heating cap for the deep conditioning in the microwave. I need to air it out a little bit first. I put this on her hair and let her roam around for like 30 minutes, maybe 40 today. I got things to do. <laughs> you get this from Amazon. Come on, baby. All right. Ready? Is it good? All right, you're free for, I'll say 40 minutes. with the raw sugar body wash. Y'all remember I went to Target and I tried one of their body washes which is the avocado and something. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So I went ahead and ordered some more because Destiny also uses this. I used to buy it for her and I don't know why I stopped. But if she needs any, I could just give her one of mine. Um, I also bought some hair gel. I just did a Target order. So this is the hair gel that I got, the Eco Styler hair gel this is the olive oil and shea butter with black castor oil and flax seeds so i got that so i got two of each set that they have of the raw, raw oh yeah i'm glad they put it in the bag because i have to it's wet with body wash um this is the simply body wash cold press vanilla bean and sugar i haven't smelled this one so i hope it smells good so wait i'm glad they put it in the bag because if not it would have Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so this smells good, the vanilla bean. Um, so I got two of those, what else? This is the watermelon and fresh mint. This now, this is one of the ones I bought Destiny a few years ago. Uh, you can find these at Target, and these are wet too. So I'm, oh, look for some of this spilled. I wish they would have put tape around the um, actual bottle. You know, like the top. Um, this is the watermelon and mint. It smells so so good. But I have to rinse all of these off. Uh, what else? This is the pineapple and maki berry coconut. So I bought two of these. So in total, I got eight body washes. You get y'all closer. And I also bought a uh face wash this is a blue agave plus baking soda from Bior I love Bior products so I got this and then this is the pineapple scent one I haven't smoked this one either I think the next time I'm just going to get it from inside the store because I wish they put tape around the top don't worry I'll try so long for you <laughs> oh this smells so good oh my god Okay, so I got two of those. Do I get? Okay, and this is the one that I tried at the store, which is the avocado and cactus scent. And it smells amazing. So when I come out the shower, I come out the shower smelling good. And the thing is, these are all natural. Um, they're made with plant-derived ingredients. And ingredients and cold-pressed extracts for positively good clear skin. So, they're sulfate-free and they're paraben-free and they're vegan. But this is the one I tried at the store, so this is the one I'm using right now to take a shower with. Oh, and it smells so good. Which one you want me to use? You want one? I want to smell for it. Nah, this is mine. Okay. You got your own. Yeah, I 
I smell them purge too. Daddy, mom said to get your own. Oh, you heard that since said, Mom said to get your own. Um, but these are all the Bosley washes I got. Now I gotta rinse them off because they kind of leaked in there. I just wish they put a tape on top. Stop throwing the boxes around. Right. Like, why? Like, this is how they, they sent it in. I would have preferred they put tape around it. But let me rinse these so, off. So, uh, I just finished rinsing Destiny's hair off. So I'm about to start twisting her hair. Today we're having chili. So, John is going to cook it for me. He's going to have it in a um, slow cooker. We just had rare bear and pizza for lunch. He just made that for us today. We're, they're going to be cleaning up. The boys will be unloading the dishwasher and reloading the dishwasher as well. <laughs> That's right. So, basically, all three boys are going to be in the kitchen cleaning and cooking while I do Destiny's hair. And then Destiny has a project to do it like a book what's it a a book project or something book report, a book report with okay. and she has to paint a pumpkin so that's another thing we have to handle today so this is what i'm using for her leave-in conditioner normally i don't use this one i use a different one and normally i use a different cream for her twisting for twisting her hair but i'm using this one today um hopefully it works good it's not i've never used it on her hair hey friend who you brought a friend you know I actually as cute as that doll is I really don't like it because it sheds a lot of hair and it gets stuck in a vacuum that's right so I just finished Destiny's hair turnaround I just did some twists in her hair so it could dry that way now that we could do a twist out so we are officially done it didn't take too long maybe like an hour yeah it wasn't it didn't take that long you're right and john is busy over there cooking he's gonna well he's doing the meat and the vegetables and then he's gonna put it in the slow cooker i need to take a few minutes break before i move on to the next item which by the way we got to get started on your project yes i'm gonna give you a few minutes because i need a few minutes myself destiny <laughs> picked this book let me show you them the book that you picked out baby leo all alone so we're gonna paint the pumpkin like the dog in the story i'm gonna get a head start and start painting her pumpkin white while she reads the book and um i got the blue paint for the collar and then i got the yellow paint for the little color chain and then the dog is white so i'm gonna paint this white and hopefully hopefully this pumpkin looks like the dog in the book is drying for the first coat I'm getting ready make, getting ready to make the Jiffy cornbread mix this is so good one of you guys told me to try another one but I already had this in the pantry but I will next time so I'm gonna I'm gonna get make some cornbread for the chili that we're having today I'm gonna make two packs I hope that's enough and yeah let me get that started first <music> Thank you. 
working on the pumpkin. Destiny's reading her book. And I did the collar at the bottom for the dog. I think he was wearing a blue collar and like a yellow circle. But I'm just waiting for this to, um, what is it, dry properly. So we could keep working on the pumpkin. And John is done with his chili. How's it? How'd it turn out? Enough, Does it have enough seasoning? I don't know. I need you to test it, Chloe. Why me? It's your chili. Because I'm going to say it's got enough seasoning. <laughs> I also made cornbread. Oh, you got the rice. So I was just going to make cornbread and the chili. John wanted rice too. So I had to make rice. What are you smiling at me like that for? Sweet. You're welcome. Let me look at the picture. David, he talk about the ceiling. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> so Devin helped us with the actual book report on the story. So the only thing I gotta do is just finish this pumpkin. Thank you, Devin. You're welcome. I, I'm glad you guys are wearing your Halloween pajamas today. Mm -hmm. So everyone pretty much ate dinner. It's almost seven o'clock in the evening. Um, well at night technically <laughs> and I'm still working on that project right there So I'm waiting for it to dry. It's kind of like a slow process But whenever the kids have projects like I kind of enjoy doing them myself. I, I can't help it um, But I'm about to clean the kitchen since John cooked is only fair Because when I cook he if he's home, he'll clean the kitchen. So I'm gonna do that and I think that will be it Yeah hey guys so now is the next day it's sunday morning and then we're getting ready to head off to church i just finished untwisting my hair um it's supposed to be a little warm today humid it's cold right now 61 degrees but it's supposed to be 81 later and we're supposed to go to the pumpkin patch after so let's pray that the hair that the humidity just be nice and kind to me but so far it came out pretty good um first remember i was telling you guys that i was looking for the kits that walmart is selling for the tier trays for christmas john went to walmart last night because we needed some milk i think and he found them for me yay so he got me this little tree i thought it was super cute it was seven two dollars and 78 cents let me zoom in on it and it's super cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna find somewhere for it. Okay, so this, he got me three different ones. This is the hot cocoa one. Hold on, you guys. So this is the one for hot cocoa. Um, uh, I'm so excited. I just, I'm like, I'm excited that I found them. Well, that John found them, technically. This is the one that I'm gonna put in Destiny's tier tray. It's perfect, it's pink and then teal, and it has hints of red in there. So this is the one that I'm going to be doing for her tear tray. And then this is another one that I wanted that I feel like this kit can go well with any of the other two because it doesn't have words or like an actual theme. So I, we got this one as well. Um, so I'm excited about that. Excited that I finally found it. And then last night we did finish the pumpkin from the book. What do you guys think? My work of art. The words, the name right here, I didn't do such a great job, but I mean, it is what it is. And then it's based off of this book right here, so I feel like I got pretty close to it, right? I think I did. 
But anyway, um, we're getting ready to head off to church. I'm just waiting for John to finish getting ready and the kids as well. The kids say such a long time, but Destiny is finished. It's just the boys. You would think they will be the first ones to finish. They're never the first one to finish. So we're gonna do that and hopefully, okay. I, we have like an hour and a half before we are at the pumpkin patch. So I think I might stop by TJ Maxx to see if I can find those baskets as well. We will see, but I hope you guys have a blessed day and yeah, see you later. Hey guys, so we just got out of church and this morning I had this horrible headache and the headache would not go away and it was putting me in a bad mood. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was in a bad mood. The kids were driving me crazy. Anyways, I get to church and I'm like feeling some type of way. But as soon as I start seeing my friends, saying hello to everybody, and then I just get in church, within a few minutes, my headache just went away. My headache just went away. And then what crazy thing is, it's like I was on a ride to church. I was like, the headache was just pounding. I'm like, maybe I should have stayed home today. Because I don't even feel good. But I'm so glad that I went because I am feeling so much better now. So now we are on our way to get some lunch after church and then we're going to the pumpkin patch. So I'm hungry now. I don't know, I don't know what it is. After church is like you be starving. It don't even be running long or anything. It's just you just be hungry. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. One of you guys wanted me to give you an update as far as the Shein um, tops that I ordered. I ordered a lot of them in a bigger size, and this one does run big. I wish I would have ordered a size smaller, like one size or two smaller, because it's like really big. But I put a cardigan over top. But I really love the shirt, so I recommend it. I think they're in Shein. They're always ordered from the Curve Plus section on there, but I ordered it in a 4X thinking that maybe if I ordered it smaller it would just run small because you never know each shirt on that website runs different but I should have ordered like at least two sizes smaller but it still looks good you can't really tell Whew. um but yeah just just an update on the shirt because I know I was asked before Here I'm sweating. 
but we are on the way home now so we can all take a shower and um, relax for the rest of the evening. It's like what, four something? Um, basically get ready for school tomorrow and get ready for the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs, thumbs up. up. You heard that, Sneak, right? Thumbs up. And subscribe. And subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys.